Hey guys, welcome to the fourth episode of Joey. I'm thinking of changing the name. If you guys have suggestions, that would be great. <laughs> but I probably won't because I suck at naming things and I suck at remembering names. Remember that, please. Anyway, today I'm going to speak about Moonbeam City, which is an adult cartoon about a police unit in Moonbeam City. There's a lot of comparison between it and Archer. One of the main comparisons is that Dazzle and Archer are very similar in that they're both sex hungry, they're not very good at their job, but they're also good at their job. However, Dazzle is a very bad shot. But to be fair, the entire police force misses everything. An easy joke would be comparing the police force to... Comparing this police force to stormtroopers. Anyway, Dazzle is a bad shot and Dazzle also uses the wrong word. He uses a word that sounds similar to the one he's meant to use and he gets called out on it, but that adds to the humor. Another comparison is the boss lady because they're both boss ladies. However, Pizzazz is a lot younger and there's like a sexual tension between her and Dazzle, obviously. They hooked up in every CopCon and in the episode before CopCon, Dazzle throws back to the previous CopCon because after that CopCon, she missed her period and the only person that she hooks up with at CopCon repeatedly in shame is Dazzle and I think she generally cares or she has general feelings for Dazzle. Another comparison is the nerdy character and that they both wear glasses and they're both the non-comic ones. Well, in the earlier episodes of Archer, in the later ones he becomes more comic. My favorite character, Rad, he seems to be a combination of these two, I think. He's kind of like the villain. Well, he's the villain to Dasho, they don't get along very well, but he's Rad. Rad Rad is Rad. Anyway, I like Rad because we see more of his backstory, especially in the last episode of the season, where we find out that he has one giant toe and he was kidnapped by con artists and he lives now in like a crappy location, but at the end of the episode, they find out that he was kidnapped and that his life was meant to be rich and a lot better than it is. In the last episode, there's like a lot of there's two cliffhangers. One of them is the Dazzle make the mob boss's daughter pregnant. And the other one is kind of, for me personally, to see what else is gonna happen to Rad. How is he gonna live his life now that he's rich because he lies because he's terribly insecure and he always wanted to be rich. Anyway, so far there's only one season of Moonbeam City. I'm not sure if there's gonna be another one. They don't do that much police work. Like, I think the only cases they solved is like three in a 10 episode period. So it's just their misadventures and them not being that good at their jobs. I like the character designs, I like the colors, I like the neonness, and the music is quite good as well. The colors are kind of washed out neon colors. It adds to the whole laser theme because laser used to be a resource in the city, but it kind of ran out. The series has a very atmospheric atmosphere. You can tell that this is it. You can't confuse it with anything else. Well, you can't confuse it with Archer. I did that once. The animation is fluid. However, in some shots, it's a lot more fluid than in others. Like, it's a lot more cartoony. For example, when Dazzle's mocking Rad about being on a Canadian kids' TV show. The characters are well-defined, and we get to see, like, backstories from Pizzazz and Rad. We also see a bit of a backstory with Dazzle, but it's kind of boring compared to the other two. There's no conflict, really, or the conflict gets resolved very quickly. The previous two, it's an ongoing conflict and it adds, for Rad's character, it adds to why he is the way he is. For Rad, which is quite awesome, they made him like chubby, like he has man boobs. So I think that's quite funny because when he has his clothes on, he looks fit, he looks like he could have the same body as Dazzle, but he doesn't. Oh, and another comparison between Dazzle and Archer is that they have sex with people, but Dazzle has sex with everything. In this one episode, he has sex with a building. I kind of ship him in the building. It sounds weird, but it's also like a sweet episode at the same time. 
the voice acting is very good. However, the voice of Dazzle, Rob Lowe, it's a very familiar voice. Like, I know it's him, maybe because I watched too much TV back in the day, so I can recognize his voice. But it's still good. It suits the character, and they're all performed well. Whenever they swear, they say the word, but there's a sound effect over the word. So it's kind of like they're blocking the swearing. However, they can say bits out loud. This series is also self-aware that it's a series. For example, Crystalis, Crystalis. That character, the nerd, Gloss's nerd, she speaks about how they have adventures every week and that also makes a reference to this. The series is very fast paced, so it might give you a bit of a headache with the colors and the fast pacedness, but I like it. I think it goes well together and the dialogue's very good, it's very quick and just keeps going. Very well made series, I utterly enjoyed it, I suggest you guys check it out. Although with the animation it did feel as though it was very still at times because at times when it was more movement, more, for lack of a better word, cartoon-like. Like it reminds me of Looney Tunes in certain aspects with the flow and the big exaggerated movements. So that made the flow and the big exaggerated movements stand out more because everything else is quite still. But it's probably because they wanted to make it more human to bring out the comedy more. These characters are idiots. So yeah, if you guys can, check it out. Tell me what you think below. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and night. Thank you and goodbye. Something random for the end.